Yo, what's going on, Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs. And today, well, I'm going to go back and uh, put myself in a bad situation once again. And for those of you who have been in my channel as a subscriber for a long time, know the kind of bittersweet hate love relationship I have with Mimikyu. That is because every single one of these pin collection boxes that I've ever opened, and you guys can go ahead and watch them all if you like, they're all going to be down in the description box below, um, have been a dud for me. I have never, ever pulled anything good out of the Mimikyu pin collection boxes. And so therefore, I'm going to put myself again, like I said, in a bad situation and open up one more and see if this is going to be the one that's going to break the ice and possibly even give me like a hollow rare. I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for a secret rare. Okay, I'm not asking for a full art card. Even a hollow rare will do the trick and will be very, very, very helpful to get rid of this really bad relationship with having Mimikyu. And therefore, what are we going to do today? We're going to be opening up this Mimikyu box, of course. And we're going to battle it against the Suicune and see which one is going to be giving us better pulls. This one, of course, came out of the whole GameStop clearance event for Thanksgiving, the Black Friday event. And uh, I paid, like, I don't know, like $3 for this Mimikyu, $4, whatever it was. As well as this um, uh, Blister Pack, it was, like, about $3.50 or something like that. So, not too bad. And if you guys haven't noticed by now, of course, I keep saying it in every single video. We're just filling in the gap between now and Ultra Prism, which should be here at the end of this week so hopefully we can get over this whole opening up booster boxes not booster boxes product from the black friday sale from target and gamestop and get into ultra prism stuff but anyway without any further ado let's go ahead and get into this mimikyu pink collection box here and put this on the side again this is probably gonna be my gee i'm gonna say probably 10 or 11 box opening it up and then nothing ever coming out of it so We'll see what happens. Maybe today will be the day of we getting something amazing. But anyway, before I forget, and while I open this up, blister pack up here, um, the winners of the code cards video for yesterday's video are going to be down in the description box below. If your name happens to be there, please get a hold of me. All my social media accounts or all the media account, all the social media links are going to be down in the description box below for Instagram, Facebook, Amita Pokemon. Uh, what else? Twitter, and of course, you can send me a message here on YouTube, whatever is easier for you, so I can give you guys your code cards for your winnings. Today's question of the day is, what do you guys think about Mimikyu? Is Mimikyu a good Pokemon overall? I think it's pretty cool looking. I don't know about his abilities. I don't know about, honestly, what he does as far as, like, the TCG's comp uh, concerned. I don't think it's really the greatest. Maybe eventually they'll make a Mimikyu GX, and maybe that'll be the, the, the next best, best thing, but who knows? So let me know. Do you guys love Mimikyu or do you guys hate Mimikyu? Um, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll be picking up three winners for tomorrow's video. Here are the three packs coming out of the Mimikyu box, of course. We're going to be this three packs as well. So we'll put them aside so we don't mix them up. I'm going to keep this code card for my tins. In case you guys haven't noticed, I have been selling some um, custom Pokemon tins uh, made by OpenTCGs. Yours truly here. If you guys are interested in buying one, please get a hold of me on my social media accounts or here on YouTube. Uh, the videos are going to be somewhere up here, kind of advertising the tin. So if you guys want to get some cool items for a very, very good price, please get a hold of me there. So let's go ahead and drop this camera down slightly bit here just to give you guys a better look at it. We're going to keep the pins to themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to start with, let me see, what do we have? We have a Steam Siege evolutions and sun and moon so we'll go in that order and in here we have fates collide sun and moon sun and moon so we'll do steam siege against fates collide let's open up this pack and see what comes out of here all right here is a steam siege pack for yourselves please go ahead and get yourselves a professor sycamore full art if you guys do please let me know down in the comment section below because that would be completely amazing um to hear from you guys all right so here we go a marrow to start opening a shellas Mantine, Clink, Mankey, Clawfuzzle, Anorith, put that aside, and Anorith. Hey, that's cool. That's awesome to get them back to back where you can actually go ahead and search for it. That's pretty cool. A Halucha, Azmaril, and that is a dual type Pokemon. That happens to be a reverse Hollow Uncommon. And the last card, <laughs> nice. 
very 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 nice pull right there is a mega gardevoir ex full art man wow that is 112 out of 114 that is such a cool card uh, i've only pulled this card i think another one time and uh man this card is amazing you know me i i, I love full art cards i mean that's just my priority collection um of cards that i have i always prioritize that before anything else um uh, that is beautiful though and it came out of a three dollar uh, blister pack so that's okay i'm not complaining about that so so far sukun of course is taking the lead here uh by a lot so uh the mini cube box is gonna have to do a lot better to hopefully get me to um to like it a little better so but i don't know Let's just see. Let's continue on. Three and two here. We do have two Sun and Moon packs and a Mimikyu, which is one of the reasons why I always used to get them. Um, hopefully, hoping to get that um, Ultra Ball Secret Rare. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Riolu. Random Receiver. War Madam. Old Emerald Aerodactyl. Hey, that's a nice pull right there. A Mew Reverse Hollow Rare. And that's actually pretty nice. I have um, a bunch of Hollow Rares. And finally, now I get a uh, Reverse Hollow. And a Rotom. Rotoms are back in Ultra Prism. So, um, very excited for that. Hopefully, we can get some Rotom action pretty soon. Alright, Evolutions on the Suicune side. Oh, things. Excuse me, I just burped. Gross. Alright, here we go. Evolutions for you. Come in focus. There we go. Thank you. Evolutions pack there for you guys. Hopefully, this will be an amazing pack as well. Uh, if it's not, well, it is what it is. Alright, a Weedle. Tangela. Ponyta. Doduo. Strike one. Star you. Magmar. Hey, Surfing Pikachu. Secret rare. Eh, whatever, I guess we can count this as a pool, right? I don't know. Mrs. Termination. Voltor reverse. Oh, I see something show. My gosh, guys. If we pull another. Ultra rare out of this blister pack is gonna be amazing. Um, reverse Hollow Common Voltorb <laughs> and a Venusaur EX. Man, Suicune is on fire for sure. And I tell you what, there's no way, and I can guarantee you right now, there's no way the Mimikyu is gonna do better than this. No way. It's just not gonna happen. Two ultra rares out of one blister pack that was three bucks. I, I, yeah. I got nothing. Mimikyu has nothing. But here we go. First Sun and Moon pack out of Mimikyu. It could be absolutely wrong. And then, of course, I'm going to be pulling the Ultra Ball. And it's going to be like, you see, guys? Everybody in the comment section is going to be like, you see, this is what you get for complaining. Because <laughs> this happened in the past. Um, Spiro. Alolan Grimer. Rowlet. Drowsy. Cutie Fly. Repel. Pelipper, Pokeball, Sandile, and that's a reverse hollow coming. And a Dragonite Hollow Rare. Okay, so that's not too bad. At least a hollow. Okay. I kid you not, this is probably the first time I've ever gotten anything out of the Mimikyu box. So a hollow rare is better than nothing. Okay. Here we go. Sun and Moon base set for Suicune. And let's see what happens with this one over here. I doubt it that there's anything else in here. If there is, this probably will go down as the most insane blister pack ever opened on YouTube. No, it won't be. But anyway, <laughs> I like to think of it that way. Here's a Lillipop. Bound Sweet. Dupider. Marini. Stuffle. Spinda. Not to be mistaken with Splenda. XP, XP Share. Araquanid. Makuhida. And a Palo Sand, man. Okay. Well, last pack here for Sun and Moon. And last pack for Mimikyu. Hopefully, he'll do as good on the very last pack here. Um, if not, well, again, at least he was. Let me give you guys a code card again here. I feel bad not giving you guys some a code card at all. Like, I just have to give you something. So, there we go. Three and one aside, which is Metal. Which is Metal going to be the awesome new Meta when it comes to the TCG, uh, it's going to be so OP. Um, maybe not OP, but it's going to be strong. Okay, so I can't wait for that to, ca to happen with a couple of decks I'm going to be building. Um, as well as fighting. Fighting is going to be pretty good too. Um, so 
We'll see. Now that Cynthia's here, Lucario, Garchomp is going to be great with Lucario. Such an amazing set coming out. Really, really is. A Passimian Reverse Hollow, and that happens to be an uncommon. And the last card over the opening is it's going to be a Masquerade. Regular rare, but you know what? I'll take it. I am 110% okay with this. Because even though, of course, Suicune completely trashed out Mimikyu once again, um, we did actually get a Hollow Rare out of Mimikyu. So, eh, you know, I'll give you guys... Uh, oh, actually, wait, and we got a Reverse... Oops, sorry. Thumped the camera. I'm sorry. We got a Reverse Hollow Rare Mew as well. So, I'd say it's pretty good. Let me know down in the comment section below, though, what you guys think um, was... Who you guys think was the winner of this battle here. Of course, you know, I'm going to say the full art definitely wins. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please give me a like. If you didn't, well, give me a dislike and let me know how I can make it better for you guys and fix it and just make it a great channel. But better than anything else, welcome over if you're here for the first time. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. Don't forget to subscribe on the way out and hit the notification bell on the way because, again, you don't want to be missing all these Ultra Prism things are going to be coming over. It's going to be completely amazing. So... That's it. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. You've been listening and watching Open TCGs. I'll talk to you guys on the next one.